Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says a household article is available for rupees 970 cash or rupees 210 cash down payment followed by four equal monthly installments. If the rate of interest charged under the installment plan is 16% per annum, find the amount of each installment. So let's now move on to the solution. The first step is to write the cash price or CP of the article. and it is given to be rupees 970 the second step is to write the cash down payment which is rupees 210 now the third step is to find the balance due that is amount after paying rupees 210 so it is rupees 970 minus 210 so it is equal to rupees 760 now the fourth step is to find the interest paid under the installment scheme so let amount of each installment be equal to rupees x and we are given that the number of installments are four so the amount paid under installment scheme is rupees 4x since amount of each installment is rupees x and number of installments are 4 so the amount paid under the installment scheme will be rupees 4x or the amount paid in four installments is 4x now we'll find the interest paid under installment scheme will be the amount paid in four installment minus the balance due right so this is the interest paid now the fifth step is to find the principal for four months now the principal for first month is the balance due and the principal for second month is rupees 760 minus the installment paid in the first month now the principal for third month is equal to rupees 760 minus x that is the principal for the second month minus the interest paid in the second month minus the installment paid in the second month it's not interest x is the installment so it is rupees 760 minus 2x now similarly principal for fourth month is equal to rupees 760 minus 2x minus x that is 760 minus 3x now the total principal for one month 
is equal to rupees the sum of all these principles as 760 plus 760 plus 760 plus 760 that is 3040 minus x minus 2x minus 3x is minus 6x so this is the total principal for one month now the sixth step is now the interest is given by the formula principal into the rate of interest into time upon 100 now the principal is rupees 3040 minus 6x interest is rupees 4x minus 760 as we obtained in step 3 Step four. And the rate of interest R is sixteen percent per annum, and T is one by twelve. Since we have obtained the principal for one month, T will be one by twelve. Now substituting all these values in the formula, we have 4x minus 760 is equal to p, that is 3040 minus 6x into 16 into 1 upon 12 upon 100. This can also be written as 4x minus 760. Is equal to three zero four zero minus six x into sixteen upon hundred into one upon twelve. Now four into four is sixteen. Four into three is twelve, and four into twenty five is hundred. So we have four x minus seven sixty is equal to three zero four zero minus six x. Into one upon twenty-five into three, that is one upon seventy-five. Now cross multiplying, we have seventy-five into four x minus seven sixty is equal to three zero four zero minus six x. Now seventy-five into four x is three hundred x. Seventy-five into minus seven sixty is Minus fifty-seven thousand is equal to three zero four zero minus six x. So this implies three hundred x plus six x is equal to three zero four zero plus fifty thousand. So this implies three hundred six x is equal to six double zero four zero. Adding these two, we have six double zero four zero. So this implies X is equal to six double zero four zero upon three hundred and six, and this implies X is equal to one ninety six. Thus, amount of each installment. Is equal to rupees one ninety six. So this completes the question. Do take care of your calculations. Write the formula which are you using. So this completes the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.